I hope you are doing good. So today, let us see the problem. You Dota to select, and you can see that likes and dislikes. So there is like one k likes and eight zero to dislikes. The dislikes, uh, dislike has been clicked. There are few reasons. Like the question description may change after some time, or like the question is very long and people are really struggle to read the question so they dis may dislike it so without wasting further any time let's go let's go into the question so the question states that in the world of Dota 2 there are two parties Radiant and Dire hmm? and in Dota 2 Senate consists of Senators coming from two parties so it's like we can consider it as like a the two parties like Congress and BJP and there are different different MLAs coming from the two different parties when the Senate wants to decide on a change in Dota 2 game the voting for this is around basic procedure so they want to change it like before there was some other system to play this now there is some other system so now in this system they have given two rights so first one is like ban one senator's right a senator can make another senator lose all his rights in this and all the following rounds like the one senator if suppose suppose we have R suppose we have R and D R can destroy all the rights of D and D will be eliminated like it will not be present second scenario says that announce the victory like if there are no senators left so all the senators are from the single party then he is victorious so that is the case and I think yeah, it can be solved pretty uh, pretty easily so they have given R and D reprint writers at the party and it is a round based procedure mm, okay so let's let's see one example to get better understanding uh, suppose we have R P R R D D. Hmm? Suppose we have this many. Now R can destroy D. This thing can happen. Now R R R D D. Now this R can destroy this R R R D. Now this R can destroy this D. R R R. We are left with triple R. So we can say that R is the winner. only the uh, we can say only the right side only the, it will go in this order and it may come like this so so like uh, let's say like how, how this happened like R is destroying D and R is destroying D. In this, uh, we can think this as an. Uh, what we can do is uh, we can use an array. Uh, we can simply use an array. It's better to use this basic array. Let's erase this. Uh, suppose we have R. Sorry. Suppose we have R, B, R. R and here D. Suppose we have this. So there are index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, we are just destroying the previous. So let's store this all in a in a array. This array. This array. This array. In this array, what we are showing 0, 2, and 4. In R array, we are storing 1, 3, and 5. Okay. We are storing this. So, in the step 1, let's pop the 0 and this 1. In the step 1, 
we are popping this and 0 is less than 1 so what we can, we can destroy R so what happens this one get destroyed and the new modified array would be 2 4 and this 0 this D if there is some R this side and this R can destroy this D because it will it will roam in a such a way that it can destroy this D so 2 5 and now this index would be the total size of this is 6 so 6 plus 6 we can say 6 in this 1 3 5 1 3 and 5 this is a step 1 and let's go to the step 2 let's pop 2 and 1 so 2 is greater than 1 now 1 can destroy 2 so we can remove this and this modified will be here we can find 4 and 6 here we can find 3, 5 and 7 in the third case in step 3 3 is less than 4 so we can destroy this 4 right we can destroy this 4 so we will left with 6 5 7 and 9 in step 4 this 5 now 5 is less than 6 so 5 can destroy this 6 so 5 will destroy 6 and it will become empty and we are left with 5 7 7 sorry 7 9 and 5 plus 6 11 so we have left with all these elements so the winner is D by observing this uh, what we have observed is that here we can use Q because we are popping the front element and then we are pushing that element into the end like it uh, it is like first in first out so we can use two Q's and we can solve this problem let's go through the implementation so first we can take uh, senate so i will converting into is to make it easy s dot size and we are using q q of integers and it can be r and it can be d so we are using two q's and for auto i s no if we take auto we will not get an index so let's take i only if s of i is capital r then we can say r dot push i or else there are only two in the, uh, only two characters so it either it can be r or it can be d we would push i so we are going to do this um, and what would be the base condition like if any one is get empty like uh, if r dot r dot empty is true if r dot empty and not equals to d dot empty if both the elements contains the integers only then we are going ahead otherwise we are declaring like who is the winner so first we are popping r so int some a is equals to r dot friend int b is equals to d dot friend mm, and what we can do we can pop it r dot pop d dot pop now we need to check if a is less than b suppose a is less than b what we can do just we can push like uh, if a is less than b r dot push n plus 
a if b is less d dot push n plus b mm, return if r dot size is greater than greater than zero then return radiant or return die I think you got this uh, the time complexity could be the same like order of n because uh, order mostly it will go until order of n plus n not more than that mm, the space complexity would be order of n okay guys thank you is there any time let's go let's go into